So I wanted to come on today to talk about my 2013 hair regimen. Um, a lot of it has been consistent for at least the past six to seven months with me knowing my hair a little bit better. Um, I, I tweaked a few things with new products coming in and out with me getting new products. So let's just get right into it. Um, a couple of the new things that I've been talking about and interested in is Jamaican black castor oil, which I have put into my regimen, and also vitamins, which I'll talk about in a later video. So first things first, I shampoo my hair two times a month with my favorite shampoo, which is the 365 shampoo. I got this from Whole Foods. And it's an herbal mint shampoo, and I usually put it in a bottle and then just section it off and put it in my hair, and it works really well. Um, that's actually the only shampoo I've been using for the time being because it cleans my hair so well. Next is conditioner. I condition my hair one time a week. Usually all these things are happening on a weekend because I'm usually off on Sunday and that's when I can literally dedicate my hair to being pampered because you know naturals it takes all day to do our hair for some odd reason. So anyway, um, for conditioners I usually do a pre-poo starting off and whether that's going to be with a cheapy conditioner such as Suave. I usually use my Suave conditioner and this is the tropical coconut. This gives my hair a lot of um a lot of moisture and it's it's really watery so it goes really well with an oil for me. And I use my extra virgin olive oil with this. So this is really good. Also with pre-pulling, sometimes I do co-washes where I'm just co-washing my hair. And the best co-wash for me right now is the As I Am Coconut Co-wash Cleansing Conditioner. I have a review for this. I love this stuff. Um, this is what I use mainly for my co-washes. Also, when I'm doing co-washes, sometimes I do use my Aussie Moist. And this is either for co-washing or just mainly conditioning after I shampoo. They're, it's good for both, actually. And this is 29.2 ounces, so you get a lot, a lot of conditioner out of this. And it has the pump for easy access, so I like it a lot for that reason. Next is deep conditioning. Now you guys know I am a huge fan of Shea Moisture and I actually have all of their um, masks. This is the Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask and this is for dry damaged hair. Now this is to heal and grow sh and strengthen your hair. I use this, I go back and forth with these two with the anti-breakage mask and this is for thin and fine hair and it thickens and volumes and softens your hair. Now with both of these products, I can do this um, once a week and I usually put it with an oil, whether it's coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. I do not use these by itself. I have to put an oil with it. And usually when I'm putting an oil with it, I sleep on it overnight with a satin bonnet or my new turban towel that I've been using and it helps really well with these two. It gets, um, when, when it is heating and when you are leaving it on for several hours, I feel as if it does my personal hair a lot more justice. So. Thumbs up for both of these. Now, as you guys know, newest to my collection, I have the purification mask. And this is for dry, itchy scalp and dandruff, psoriasis, and eczema. Now, I tried this, and I won't get into much details. All I will say is it's in my regimen now. So all this, these two and this one is for my deep conditionings, and I go off. I'll do, like... Whatever which one I need is the one that I use for the most part. Um, I go back and forth with all of them and for the most part I have only used this once and I only left it on for about 45 minutes so maybe for the time being I won't leave this on overnight but for the other two I definitely do leave those on overnight. So next is um, protein treatments. Now for my personal protein treatment I usually do it every two weeks or once a month. I'm leaning towards once a month now because I have um, the Shea Moisture Conditioners that's been working a lot for me. So I have my Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner. Now this stuff I've been using for the last year and a half and I really really love this. It started off as a um, my deep conditioner and then I realized how much protein it actually had in it and not that I'm um, protein sensitive but I've used this um, weekly and it became to get my hair a little bit hardened. Um, when I use it once a month I see a more improvement in my hair as in softness, um, sh um, not stripping, um, just the texture of my hair, strengthening and things of that nature so using this and giving it a gap in between me using it works a lot better than me using it once a week. So I really do like this stuff. 
Now, um, for moisturizing my hair with leave-ins, liquids, as you guys know, I do get the curl kit, so I am introduced to a lot of new products, which I do love, but I also have my staple products. So, for liquid, I've been using um, water. However, I've been also um, using the curl kit leave-ins that I've been sent, but I also recently um, started a concoction with... Um, aloe vera juice which if you guys want to see how I make that definitely leave a comment below and I definitely will um, give you heads up on how I make that it's been my new leave-in and I absolutely love it also um, for oils I use extra virgin olive oil coconut oil and now my newest is castor oil um, I realize castor oil is really thick and it's something that I definitely have to get used to and then for stylers my number one styler is always the curl enhancing smoothie um, this is actually the newest one I have maybe three of these in the last year and a half I love this stuff um, this you don't need a lot if you do use a lot like I used to in the beginning it definitely um, makes your hair a little bit oily this does have um, coconut oil um, it's silk protein and elf oil and it's for thick curly hair moisturizing body and shine this stuff, if you guys have not heard of this, this is amazing. Um, I use this for twisting, braid outs, and things of that nature. When I'm doing updos, I always put my twist and seal it with this. It's really good for your ends, so I really do love this stuff. Um, that's basically it. My regimen is very simple. I tweak it a little bit sometimes, but if, if something's working for me, then I'm not going to change anything. Everything um, that I've been doing so far has been really well and I just hope to improve my hair and my growth and also the thickness of my hair with these products so if you guys have any questions or concerns please leave them below and thanks guys for watching bye guys